It is a world unto itself of life in so many forms where nature rules in every way. Square mile after square mile, one fifth of all the fresh water in the world. I first traveled to the Amazon 25 years ago to see the work of scientists cataloging this treasure house of the natural world. So how many lifetimes would it take for you to know a lot more than you do now about what's going on here? Well, you know how it works. The more you know, the more there is still to figure out. Mario Cohn and his wife, Reta, are scientists with Brazil's National Institute of Amazonian Research. This is the jungle, but to you, it's part of the natural treasury of Brazil, isn't it? Yes, I mean, this forest is really uh, very important for a lot of people. Prized by scientists and fortune seekers alike. When you're in the rainforest, it has a kind of spiritual effect, but this can be a sinister place, not just because of the dangers within the rainforest, but because it's become a war zone between ecologists, naturalists, and people who want to develop this area. According to an international human rights organization, at least 24 activists have been killed for their work in Brazil's Amazon in the first four months of this year alone. The many indigenous tribes are under tremendous pressure here as well. There is a feeling that protecting the, the rainforest and natural ecosystems in the Amazon is working against progress. It's really important, I think, that we make it clear that everybody benefits from preserved ecosystems. A future without the Amazon is simply unthinkable. We really haven't come close to describing everything there is. This is the, the Michael Jordan of biodiversity. There's just no coming Or LeBron close. James these days. Is that right? <laughs> <laughs> Mario has been upriver for a long time. For him, no man-made wonder can compete with the natural wonders that are part of his everyday life. Tom Brokaw, NBC News in the Amazon.